We live in the era of multitasking. At any given moment, most of us have a handful of projects on the go. And there's always that one project we choose to put off until the last minute. It's just inevitable. So why aren't you getting those projects done, hmm? Let's look into the research. There's fear of failure. Sometimes those big, important tasks are just so daunting. We don't even know where to begin, and inevitably, we leave everything until the last possible moment. A 2012 study finds that when we fear failure, we are actually desiring control. Control of the outcome. Ironically, procrastinating gives us a sense of control. Or, maybe you're the creative type, and ideas just can't be forced. Everyone knows, artists are a little flaky at times, but their procrastinating nature might actually help their creative juices keep flowing. If you're an artist yourself, you probably agree with this. You hate deadlines and you find them only discouraging you from your best work. Researchers coined the term unfinished tasks to explain this. See, when we abandon a project and let it stew in our minds for the next few weeks, we get all kinds of new, innovative ideas. If we had simply rushed through the task and completed it as fast as possible, guess what happens? A creative block. Creativity cannot be forced. Just a small plug. We also have a video on Signs Your Creative Soul if you want to check that out later. Perhaps you're a creative soul and you just haven't discovered it yet. Up next, perfectionism. We procrastinate because we just don't care. We've given up. We've abandoned our projects and say, whatever, right? According to research, that actually couldn't be further from the truth. Procrastination is linked with perfectionism, but this isn't necessarily a good thing. Perfectionism has also been linked with a ton of other issues, like anxiety and depression. When we go through our projects with a fine-tooth comb, looking for perfection, it takes a real toll on our mental state. Once again, this is something we totally relate to. Anyone else? Maybe you're an evening person. Remember those early mornings during high school? Remember how hard it was to focus on pretty much anything? Maybe you're still going through this every morning. In the world of psychology, this is known as eveningness, which basically means you're definitely not a morning person. And if you're part of this exclusive club, procrastination might be a big part of your life. Studies have shown that undergraduate students who procrastinate are much more likely to exhibit eveningness. How many of our viewers wait until the dead of the night to get started on projects? Well, now you know why. This perhaps is linked to creativity too, and focus during the nighttime. Or maybe you make great decisions. Hold on a second. Procrastination actually results in better decision making? Well, in a book called Wait, The Art of Delay, expert Frank Partnoy argues that we make the best possible decisions when we wait until the very last second. In the psychological world, this is called managing delay. Basically, modern studies remind us that procrastination is inevitable. Instead of avoiding it entirely, we should learn how to procrastinate like a pro. Or maybe you struggle with self-doubt. One study linked procrastination with negative self-perception. When we doubt ourselves, it's very easy to wonder what ifs and take criticism too heartedly. It's okay to doubt yourself, meaning you're self-aware of your own potential limitations, but don't let this be a reason for your procrastination. Or seven, you don't practice mindfulness. So what can we do to help with procrastination? Research shows that most procrastinators don't practice mindfulness meditation. So this simple exercise might really help if you can't seem to get anything done. We have to admit, this makes total sense. After all, mindfulness is all about living in the moment, in the here and now, and those projects need to get done here and now. Mindfulness is definitely trending right now, and it seems to work wonders with issues that we all struggle with. Which of these points did you relate to? Self-doubt, being a perfectionist, or all of the above? Comment below and maybe we can all unite as procrastinators. 
Remember, the point of this video is not to put down the art of procrastination, but rather to embrace the many reasons why we do procrastinate, so that we can develop self-insights into appropriate changes. After all, Psych2Go is about building self-awareness. We hope you found this video helpful. Please hit like and don't forget to subscribe. As always, thanks for watching.